Hello all, TechGeek311 here and welcome to my how-to video on updating your iPad and iPad mini to iOS 7. Okay all, this is my how-to video on how to get your iPad and your iPad mini updated to iOS 7. Just a note to remember, the iPad 1 is not updatable. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings of your application. The very top here, you're going to see the third tab called Software Update. It's going to pull up the Software Update and tell you that it's about 655 megabytes to do this. You go into Learn More. This is going to give you all the information about what's going to be updated onto this iPad and it's a whole long list. If you're running an iPad 1 or the original iPad you won't get this message at all. It's not compatible. Anything from the iPad 2 on up will get it. Now something you want to do prior to doing the update if any one of your apps on your iPads have an external backup either to a cloud service or to an email you want to go ahead and back those up. You also want to go into your iCloud and from your iCloud, right above Delete Accounts, says Storage and Backup. Make sure you have enough storage. This one's already been backed up as of today. You can manage your storage. So let's go into the iPad. And make sure that all the apps and all the info that you want has an On button on there. So anything that does not have an On, as you can see all these ones that are off, those will not. the data in those will not be backed up. So you want to make sure everything that you have in here that you want to keep, everything that has information, you want to turn those on. So down the list you can see most of these weather apps, there's no need. Most of the important apps that are in here, they all have them on. Okay, once you've done that, you get back out. Alright, and then we go back into general. We're going to go into software update. Now yesterday on the 18th, um, Apple had a big mess with this. So far today, everything's been running fine, so uh, let's cross our fingers, make sure everything works well. We've done all the backups, we've got everything ready, so now all we got to do is hit download and install. It's going to give you this agreement here to agree with the terms. You're going to hit agree. It's going to give you another agree, and you're going to hit agree. Then you're going to see the little cogs moving and it's going to tell you how many minutes are remaining. Okay, for here you just let the uh, software update do its stuff. Okay, as you see right there, now it says preparing update. So it's already downloaded it and now it's going to prepare this iPad to be updated. Okay, so now that it's finished downloading the update and it went ahead and uh, got ready for the install. As you see, you don't have to touch anything here. It'll do it for you. It's going to verify this update now through Apple servers. Make sure the update is valid and ready to go. And you don't have to touch the iPad. It'll automatically do everything for you from here on out. Okay, once the screen goes black, you're going to notice an Apple symbol. Okay, now you're going to get the Apple symbol. You're going to have a little cog rotating again. And now you have this line. Okay, so this line is going to fill in. It's going to come completely white. This is step one. Step two is you're going to get the same thing again with the Apple another line. It's going to fill in and then your iPad is going to automatically reboot. Okay, now in this section you'll see that it's already full, the entire line. Then it's going to go black again. You're going to get another Apple symbol and another blank line. That line will then fill in white just as this one did. 
but at a little quicker rate. At that point then you'll get an Apple symbol and it'll reboot the iPad for the activation screen. Okay, now the iPad is rebooting and it's going to bring us to the activation screen. Okay, right here we get the activation screen. So it says slide to setup. And you can enter your passcode if you have one. Okay, now it says the update's complete. To so press continue. It's going to ask if you want to enable location services. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for your password. It's going to update your iCloud settings. It's going to say to find my iPad on iOS 7. And it's going to say, Welcome to your iPad. Get started. And there you go. Now this iPad has just been updated for iOS 7. Alright, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button below. Uh, and as usual, keep track of my other videos. I've got some more how-to videos on how to use iPad. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And leave me any comments if you do. I'll catch you later with my other how-to videos. Thanks for watching.